right now. In a, in a traditional classroom, you have a couple of uh, uh, homework, homework lecture, homework lecture, and then you have a snapshot exam. And that exam, whether you get a, a 70%, an 80%, a 90%, or a 95%, the class moves on to the next topic. And even that, that, that 95% student, what was the 5% they didn't know? Maybe they didn't know what, what happens when you raise something to the, to the zeroth power. And then you go build on that in the next concept. That's analogous to, uh, imagine learning to ride a bicycle. And I give you a bicycle, maybe I give you a lecture ahead of time, and, and I give you that, that bicycle for two weeks, and then I come back after two weeks, and I say, well, let's see, you're having trouble taking left turns, you can't quite stop. You're, you're an 80% bicyclist, so I put a big C stamp on your forehead, and then I say, here's a unicycle. But I, I, as ridiculous as that sounds, that's exactly what's happening in, in, our, in, our, in our classrooms right now. And, and, and the idea is, you know, you, you fast forward and students start, good students start failing algebra all of a sudden and start failing uh, calculus all of a sudden, despite it being smart, despite having good teachers, and it's usually because they had these Swiss cheese gaps that kept building throughout their foundation. So our, our model is learn math the way you would learn anything, like the way you would learn a bicycle. Stay on that bicycle. Fall off that bicycle. Do it as long as necessary until you have mastery. The traditional model, it penalizes you for experimentation and failure, but it does not expect mastery. We encourage you to experiment. We encourage you to failure, but we do expect mastery.